Hey ladies, so um, I am adjusting my curtains. I was watching a show the other day about um, people who have lost like quite a bit of weight. And um, I just kind of stumbled across it. I mean, yeah, I'm on a diet and yeah, I'm losing weight, but it's not all I watch or anything. <laughs> Don't think the wrong thing in the ear. No, um, so I was watching it and it was really inspirational. All these people were losing a bunch of weight uh, and it was just like, they were like, yeah, I was done playing around. I just decided to diet and exercise um, because none of these magical pills were working. And I'm like, that is so true. That's exactly what happened. Um, and then a lot of them were saying like, um, food was my best friend and food couldn't, what didn't tease me. It was always there for me. And that's, that's the thing that bugged me um, because I don't know if people actually think that. I don't know if that's the only way that they can convey um, like how it works for them or like what, why they, you know, gained weight. But I really don't know if I believe that food was your best friend. Um, and that's because nobody says like, oh, these people are picking on me. Here, cheesecake, you you always understand me. And, you know, it's just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, anywho, I decided to do a video on it to kind of explain like what food was to me or like, I don't know like why I gained my weight. Um, as most of you know, there's PCOS, and that is definitely one of the main factors, but it isn't the only reason that I gained weight. I can't go around my whole life saying, oh, I was, I gained a bunch of weight because of PCOS. Um, that's not the whole truth. Um, part of the reason is because I grew up in a very Italian family, um, and uh, they always made like pastas and mascacioli, lasagna, um, and homemade pizza. Oh my god, this is my favorite. With no sauce, like we used olive oil for the sauce. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. If you've never had an authentic Italian pizza, I suggest you have one. But use that as a cheat because, yeah. Anyways, so um, we always had, you know, foods like that growing up. Um, I remember we always had um, a loaf of bread sitting at the table when all of us would get together when we go down to my grandparents and there would be a loaf of bread sitting at the table and butter sitting next to it and you just buttered your bread and ate it with your, your dinner and that was uh, especially with like spaghetti we would butter the bread and put the spaghetti in and eat it like a little taco like an Italian taco um, but I wasn't like taught to um, you know the difference between carbs and blah 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 and like it to my family that was like stuff that they weren't buying into um, and so I didn't understand that potatoes wasn't a vegetable that corn is a starch as well um, that flour isn't good for you I figured it came from wheat how can it not be good for you um, and also we never talked about anything like that it's just kind of like whatever was put in front of us that's what we ate um, and I grew up my family's also from the south so I grew up um, biscuits and gravy homemade biscuits and gravy I am bomb at making that um, which does not help and then um, you know bacon my grandma when everyone would get together buy a huge slab of bacon and there'd just be a mountain of bacon on our table um, and fried eggs um, they put bacon grease in like everything like including the corn and um, yeah it was just kind of like when when I was a kid I could eat that stuff I could eat that stuff all the way until I was like uh, 18 and um, I wasn't friends with food and I wasn't my comfort it was just what I ate and I love food. I still do. I've always, you know, loved food. I have an appreciation for really, really, 
well-made food. Like we uh, we went to an Italian restaurant when for our anniversary one year, and I have hair directly in my eye. Okay, uh, for our anniversary a couple years back, and um, I ordered like off the menu. Like I was just like they brought me my menu. I was like, hey, do you guys have this? I don't remember what I ordered, and uh, they were like, oh yeah, and I was like, okay, can I get some of that? And then I was like, do you guys have, I ordered like an appetizer, but, um, and I ordered, you know, without looking at the menu, and they're like, oh yeah, and then um, they came back by um, for dessert afterwards, and I'll, you know, I just remember that I asked if they had tiramisu, and they're like, oh yeah, and the manager like came over and was talking to us. And he thought that I was a, um, like a restaurant review person, uh, or a food critic, that's what it is. Um, so he came over and was talking to us, um, because I ordered, like, without looking at the menu. Um, but yeah, so I just, I thought that was so funny. But, I don't remember where I was going with that. <laughs> I just laugh every time I think of that story. Um. Oh, but yeah, I, I appreciated that food. It was delicious. It was really well made, very authentic. Um, and I've always appreciated food. And um, I didn't know where to stop. I wasn't, you know, raised knowing how many calories a day you should eat and how many you should burn and whatever, you know, and that you need exercise. And I was, as a kid, I was constantly running around. And all the way up until I was about 18, I was constantly walking everywhere because that was a cool thing to do. <laughs> and um, I didn't get my license until I was 18 for medical reasons. <sighs> and I lived in a town where I could walk everywhere, so I walked everywhere. And I didn't want to take the bus because there's weirdos on the bus most of the time. At least where I was, it was a free bus, so everybody rode it. But. Um, Anyways, so I always got my exercise in without even thinking about it, and then also, um, so I would burn off the excess calories, and then when I turned 18 or so is um, kind of when my PCOS just really went into full gear, and I uh, started gaining weight, and I didn't know why, and it's like, I'm too young for my metabolism to like slow down, and I didn't understand that was it was because of PCOS. And because the foods I was eating uh, was bad for it. And I didn't get diagnosed for, I think, another year or so. Um, so it was, it was like, really, I don't know. Yeah. It was um, out of control by the time I, I figured it out. And um, I just, like, I don't... I, it wasn't my best friend. It didn't comfort me. I'm, I mean, maybe with other people that's how it works, but I don't know. The way I see it is it, it's like, um, I don't know. Why is my screen getting so dark? I don't know what is happening. Anyways, um, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, one second. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't... Um, that I used it to comfort me or that I needed food, it was the fact that um, I liked it and I liked eating it. Um, and I didn't know when to stop, I didn't understand portion control. Um, I always took after my dad and he eats a lot and um, so I thought I could too and I remember I used to when I was growing up. Um, I was a growing girl and um, you know, you know, you only hear about growing boys, how they get, how they eat a lot, but, um, you know, all kids do it. And I remember I was, we went out to breakfast with my family and I ordered like the same thing my dad did and I ate all of it and he didn't finish his. And they're like, oh wow, you can really eat and blah, 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 as if it were a good thing. So like imprinted in my mind, it was like a good thing that you could eat a lot. Um, and it was a good thing to have a healthy appetite, but I, you know, I didn't understand any of that. So, um, yeah, it's, you get mixed signals growing up and, and your family has to teach you about it or you have to teach yourself about it, um, as you get older. And so it wasn't, I don't know, I, I don't know why that bugs me so much that like, I think that's a cop out in my opinion that food was your best friend. Um, 
I just think that people don't know how to explain their relationship with food, so, and they don't understand why they ate so much, so they kind of use that as a reason, because they don't even know themselves. Um, and I don't even know, like, why I ate so much, and, you know, I still have my days where I eat a lot, but I try and eat a lot of good things, um, and that's the difference. You can still love food, you can still, you know, eat a lot of it, but you just watch your calories and watch where you're eating, and it's as simple as that. But um, portion control definitely helps. <sighs> Anyways, so that's just kind of what I wanted to go over. Um, one second, I also got a question. I got the new iPhone 5S. I'm so excited about it. Um, okay, I had a... Oh, goodness gracious. Golly! Ah, you gotta be kidding me. I swear that's my password. I literally just got this a couple days ago, so... Bear with me here. There we go. Okay, I was wondering why I wasn't getting emails. One person asked... Where is it? Oh, how much, um, it was a post on my, um, before and after videos that I just did not too long ago, and they said I can see a real difference before and after, in the before and after footage. How much uh, had you lost and how long did it take? Um, as most of you know, I don't keep track of my actual weight. The best guess that I have is that I've lost about 40 pounds. Um, and that's just an educated guess, really. Uh, and then it took me probably for it to actually like really kick in. Um, was like June. So June, July, August, and September. So four months. Um, well, yeah, four months um, is about how long it took me to lose about 40 pounds, and that doesn't seem like a whole lot, you know, most people want it to just go, but 40 pounds of fat is a lot, and um, I'm down, I think, let's see, five pant sizes now uh, in four months and um, six dress sizes I think um, so yeah it's it's awesome I'm I'm really excited and um, that's about ten pounds a month and two they say you know, there's like more like five weeks in a month, so I'm going to say like two pounds a week uh, instead of two and a half pounds, which would be the four weeks. Um, but there's like in an actual calendar month, there's more like five weeks, so I'm going to say it was like two pounds a week. Um, so that's like not hard. It's super easy. You just got to stick with it um, is the only thing. Most people give up, and it really took me a long time to get started. Um, I know I started back in January, but I also um, was just kind of goofing off, essentially. Um, I um, like wasn't super serious about my diet, um, and I was doing low carb, and you know I was just hoping that that would make a difference, and it did, but not that much, only a slight difference. And then um, when I really started. <clears throat> um, doing the paleo and working out and I was like I remember just one day I was like I'm going to walk to Chris's work and then I just started doing that for my exercise and um, that's what really made the difference was incorporating the exercise and switching to the paleo diet um, so yeah if you guys have any questions let me know um, but yeah I hope, I hope you guys Oh, sorry. 
I hope you guys have started your um, process of changing. <sighs> and I hope that I am able to help you guys along the way. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.